Now, in Q4, you will know that Neo intends on launching two models. That is the Onvo L80 and the Neo uh, ES8, right? And with the L80, we have not seen even a sneak peek of how that car looks like. Though we saw some sugar design videos last year, we're not sure if the L80 will come looking like that. But for the ES8 NT 3.0, there have been pictures that have been surfacing the streets of social media. In fact, today we got someone did a video, guys, for us where we get to see how the car looks like from the front and the back side. I mean, the new CEO, the last time we spoke about the ES8, you will know that the quote or the last statement that he said when he was talking about the ES8, he said, the king is back. Have a look at this video before we continue. So, I mean, you will notice that the front uh, or the trunk, the front trunk has changed. It is now has got in, having a band similar to the L90, like what we saw on the L90, which is something very, very good. It appears that the trunk is much bigger. And at the back side, man, it, you will notice that, that on the side, just before the, uh, the front tires, there is this uh, camera that is there on the 89, and we are seeing it. On the ES8 which is something that is just so great man this speaks volumes of uh, the technology that you will find onto this uh, car this speaks volumes of what the ES8 is gonna come with I mean this is the NT 3.0 model of the ES8 and ES8 you will know that if I remember well uh, last year when they launched the 2024 model there was a point in time where it was selling over 1,000 sales on a monthly basis and ES8 mind you this is the this before the 89 it was the most expensive model that you can buy or get under NEO and seeing it selling that well it was something that of course it was good right now the ES8 I think it's selling just fairly over 300 sales on a month to month and on a weekly basis they are, they are selling like 90 to 100 sales. I mean, last week, that rumor of the total sales which apparently NEO received, you will, uh, we would have noticed that NEO ES8 had 90 units, which simply means that on a, on a weekly basis, NEO ES8 is selling like what? 100 cars, 100 units, which on a monthly basis, you get between 300 and 400 uh, cars that are being sold, which means that once the NT 3.0 has been released you and me can agree that it's going to be so crazy the interior because it's an nt 3.0 model i'm telling you it might sh take a shape of the et9 which is going to be so crazy i am very happy i am excited about this and i think seeing more of the videos of this uh, e es8 it's something that is very very good because this motivates encourages us to be able to see what NEO is it's planning, right? It is going to be officially launched in Q4, but we're already seeing the sneak peeks of what it's all about, which is something that is good. Space, it has increased. Hopefully, I just hope that it comes with a six-seater option because it's important that if it's a large SUV, it has got that option. We cannot only have the L90 uh, having six-seater and the es8 not having a six seater option right i think there should be that option so that at least it can give people uh, that want the new main brand and they've got the back or they've got the money to buy a six seater rather than buying a five seater which is something that is very very good so like subscribe hit that notification bell because it takes me some time to make these videos i like what i see man and i i'm crossing fingers that this also helps Neo get to the 25,000 deliveries in Q4. In Q4, there is the L80, like I said, which is still coming. We have not seen a single camouflage photo of that ES uh, Onvo L80, but hopefully with time, we are going to see it. But L90, I mean, we are seeing it almost on a daily basis. Though Neo has not officially done an official unveiling where they show us the interior, plus also the price of that car with the bus, without bus, 
you and me can agree that yeah we we we, we already know the kind of car that that will be and hopefully it gets to attract as many sales as possible i mean it's direct competitor l90 you know that it's your envo l9 it's the large suv and i'm quite certain that price wise near is going to strategically place it so that they can get to see as many sales as possible the launch of the a l90 is expected to come in august with the deliveries also expected to to, to start immediately which is something that is which is something that is great something that is very very exciting blue sky is coming long term will win those that are persevering throughout the headwinds of the share price will most definitely be rewarded with time like share subscribe it takes me some time to make these videos which is why i always ask you guys to subscribe because youtube has been telling me that you guys or some of you guys are just watching some liking not liking and most importantly some not subscribing so please i ask you to subscribe and i will give you i promise i'll give you more content or i'll continuously consistently give you more content about neo i'll see you on the next one that's all my dear friends and god bless you all